Hello everyone and I have implemented in-app purchases for my mobile application and on both Android and iOS and it is fully deployed 110% working and when I was uh, doing the whole process I faced a lot of issues and it was not working I went to the YouTube and all the videos were like uh, using third party applications like revenue card even some of them were too outdated like two three years back so i created this video specifically for the new latest 2025 changes updates and every process i am documenting in this video so without wasting any time guys let's head back to our desk so hello uh, firstly you can see that i have implemented this beautiful ui right now uh, because i needed to update my section for buy credits so firstly what you need to do is add a simple UI so I am also using block architecture in flutter you can do it but this thing has nothing to do with what I am going to show you and how to integrate the in-app purchases it's just the UI section so we are here we are just adding three buttons for you know giving the option for user to buy and what this buy card will do is basically take me to my IAP service so IAP basically stands for in-app purchase service so these things I am telling you because uh, it will really help you understand the whole thing how everything works uh, either just mind boggling copying all the thing I will just give you the code you can also go through it but before that let me give you a little bit of brief explanation so IAP I am checking whether it's not initialized so in-app purchases needs to be initialized before you can make any of the purchases remember that the in-app purchases won't work on your emulator it will work on your real, DI, real, real device only whether it's an android device or an iOS device doesn't matter it will work on the real one only so here I am just initializing and then I have created a service class this code I will also give you in the comment it's just a copy paste thing but still I will give you a little bit of heads on explanation so I am having a on delivered on purchase delivered so this method will basically you know help me understand when the purchase is done so I am doing this because I don't have a backend and I am handling all the things from inside my application so on delivered your purchase will be completed and I will be notified with that my purchase your purchase is complete and I will update your credits into my application so this is an IAP class in app purchase class where I have my init function where I am checking whether the IAP is available and uh, then I am uh, subscription stream I am using to basically check all the products so now from this part uh, once that is done I will show you what you need to do on your uh, app store console so the first thing you need to do is go to your business section now I am do telling you all the prerequisites otherwise you will face the issue like this yeah so once you have created the prerequisite of your business thing like this you have to create all the details then you need to also create this user and access it's not required uh, you can create it later also but I am telling you so that they are they, they are done before only so don't face any issues afterwards in testing or doing your application thing just add a sandbox account and also add a sandbox tester email I have also uploaded a video regarding sandbox testing you can also check and now we will move to the apps part now for example you have added your application and then you need to go into the in-app purchases section in-app purchases like here i have added three in-app products like v credit 100 v credit 1000 v credit 500 so they are type consumable you can add a new product from here you can select a type you can select a reference name and you can select a product id remember that the product id and the reference name can be different but the product id once created it cannot be destroyed even if you delete this product id like for example if i delete one of these uh, products from here i won't be able to generate a new product with same product id i will give an i will be given an error that this already exists even if i delete it now once this part is done that your in-app purchase products are added you need to prepare a new version of your application so what you need to do for that is basically go to your xcode 
like for example after adding these all code uh, you need to go to your xcode and uh, basically add a capability which is called in app purchase capability remember that without adding this capability things won't work again and uh, what you need to do is basically um, go to your runner and here you can see an option for the capabilities signing in capabilities and here you need to add in app purchase capability like here so for example to add a capability you can add a new capability from here you can type in app purchase and for example for me i have already added so it is not showing here but in your case it will show so once you have added this capability uh things will uh, be uh, your your whole application will be enabled to do in app purchases now in the distribution remember you need to you need to upload a new version so for example when all the iap classes and the code is written all the things from your profile view that your ui is also complete you need to basically upload a screenshot of it in your in app purchases section uh like here so once you will create a credit na uh, like for example in app product you will also need to upload a screenshot of how you are going to use it and you need to also give a review note and once everything is done it will be sent to a status the status will be shown ready to uh, it will be shown ready to be approved or ready to uh, something like that will be shown here but then also your thing won't work i am i i searched on the internet people are telling that once it is for waiting for review or something it will start working but it, it is not until and unless you do not submit your app for review the in app purchase thing won't start working it will be blocked and you will get an issue like this now once all these things are done uh, your in app purchase products are ready you have created a new version with the iap class that will be handling the response from this so for example right now from the emulator it won't happen but as you can see in my uh, in my this uh, real iphone device application everything is working fine so once your application is deployed from here so for example you uploaded a new build like for example this firstly upload the new build to test flight i am just saying it for example if you want to do testing so what you can do is upload a new build of uh, of your application with all the new version and capabilities you also need to add the in app purchases now what i want to tell is whenever you will try to upload a new version for distribution you will get an option somewhere below to add your in app products once you will click on that all the in app products that you created here will be added into your new version like from here only and then once all the things are done save it and send it for review now i am saying this because if you do not send your thing for review the the in app purchase thing won't start working because apple needs to firstly approve this thing add your iaps to the application and then everything starts to work you can also test your iaps before that only so if your test flight build is approved and uh, you have added the in app purchase correctly you can use your sandbox account so basically i have uploaded a video for sandbox how to create the sandbox account and how to log in with your sandbox credentials you can check inside my channel there you will get the video like i created it yesterday only so it will be below it only so you can create a sandbox credential and log in in your iphone from that sandbox credential and basically test your application from the test flight now after you do this once your application is uh, is ready to be is, is ready for distribution apple approves it your iap thing will start working on your iphone device perfectly fine there is no need to put any extra brain or do any other thing as other youtubers tell i mean other youtubers have tell a very big processes of you know uh, go to like app information and also generate this app specific secrets like for example if you have a server uh, you can add your server also and you can also generate specific secrets there is also some videos about using revenue cat 
बट आई थिंक रिवेन्यू कैट इज गुड वेन योर एप्लीकेशन इज ऑलरेडी एट अ पर्टिकुलर स्केल और मे बी बिकॉज वॉट इट डज ना इट ओनली एड्स एन ओवर हेड बर्डन ऑन योर माइंड बिकॉज यू वुड हैव टू देन सी ऑन रिवेन्यू कैट ऑल्सो इट्स अ रियली गुड प्रोडक्ट एक्चुअली आई हैव यूज इट बट स्टिल आई वुड से इफ यू आर अ बिगनर एंड यू वॉन्ट टू डू ऑल दोज थिंग्स firstly implement this method and then later you can jump to revenue cat if your needs are growing and your users are growing so this was the whole process of uh, uploading uh, the the whole thing on uh, ios app store connect and getting your uh, in app purchase thing to start working now let's move to the step of how to do it on android so the process for android is really simple you just have to go to your application on google play console you can go to firstly um, you need to go to your uh, monetize with play option there you can go to products and in app products now remember for in app products to be enabled there you will also get an issue that it will say that uh, billing is not there so you can you need to upload a new a uh, version or new a abd file which has uh, which includes the um, the option for billing so what you need to do is it's really simple you just need to come into your src main android manifest or xml and here you just need to add an option this uses uh, permission android com android vendor billing so once you add this line in your manifest dot xml and upload a new build doesn't matter you upload it you can upload it directly on uh, production also but i would recommend to go firstly for close testing upload one of your builds to close testing which contains this line and also contains this dependency now this dependency is very important if you are using flutter application or if you do on uh, some else parts then i don't know but uh, there also you would get a dependency for including in app purchases so you need to add this in app purchase dependency and then all this in app purchase service file functions you will be able to write easily and also you will be able to use it on android also by adding this manifest line this one line simply of billing now once that thing is done go into monetize with play go into in app products and there you can create your in app products like for example i created the same products with the same ids so remember that you do not create different id products here or do and here because what it will do is that you would have to handle it differently and also keep in mind that the ids that you are calling should not be different so for example if the spelling mistake is there like for example you are writing v credit 500 here and in here you have written misspelled it v credits 500 so what will happen that your uh, whole thing will fail when when the app store or the play store will try to fetch the information from their google play console or app store connect your app, your it will show that the products are not available product ids are not present and you will be stuck with this issue so remember to keep the name same i am telling all of these things because i faced all of these issues when i was doing it and then you can easily create a new product from here and enter all the information product ids and same like it is mostly same as uh, you do on app store connect you can basically give a name and description and uh, set a price here from here you can set a price of what you want and once your in app products are uh, done you can basically click on the activate button so for example if you go here you will get, you will see an option for activate button here so like for example i am seeing a deactivate option you will also get an option for activate so once you will activate it the products will be active now what you need to do once all the products are created app store process is basic a play google play console process is really simple what i did was just uploaded my applications new version with all these current capabilities so when i said it i added this android billing file i added the iap service classes uh, like for example such like this iap dependency then in my profile view i was doing this iap um, i have written iap code inside my application i'm using the same product ids that i have created so that it can be fetched 
initialize properly and then my iap purchase could be done seamlessly now once this whole thing is done you just need to simply you know uh, upload your application from your android studio so for example uh, you can go to android studio and basically uh, do this so here you get the option you can go to next you can go to release and create this so once that thing is done and your new adb is uploaded so if you want to upload it you can basically go to your google play console test and release production and here you can create a new release and then here you can upload your new file so i am uh, you can upload your new app bundle here uh, for example right now i'm deleting it because i have already uploaded my latest version so once you will upload it and you will send it for review so from the publishing review option you need to send it once uh, everything is reviewed from the uh, placed from the google side and also things are reviewed from the side of placed uh, this uh, app store connect your uh, whole thing of uh, in app purchases will start working correctly don't panic don't think that uh, it won't work everything will work just wait for app store and play store to get the uh, get the approval done and let your application be out and the things will automatically after that will start working if we have followed all the processes that i have told till now so this was a, a bit uh, clear video of how everything uh, needs to be done for implementing in app purchases i will drop the code below into uh, uh, in in description if not possible then in the comment section i will drop everything or every file if not uh, anyone who will ping me or uh, if anyone wants to write their code uh, customly then they can also use chat gpt or any ai tool they will give you a pre made template for the all existing code at least for the iap service it will give rest of the implementations you can do accordingly like it's not uh, very tough you just need to create string of product ids and then you need to use utilize your iap service check if it is initialized or not and then you need to fetch the products the fetching of the products displaying the products everything will be handled from this stand alone class only so you don't have to worry about that and once all these things is done your verifying and detail purchase is done you can actually test the whole process that i am testing right now you can see uh, how i have done the things so this is it for this video if you like this video please do hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts anything you are stuck getting stuck with do tell me in the comment section i will try to help you out as fast as possible because i know how hectic it can becomes Uh, when there is no detailed good video of explaining everything of how to do in app purchases in 2025 because every setting has changed and i saw on youtube there was no uh, latest video of showing the latest but every video was about this revenue cat thing and uh, i mean i know most of the people do not want to implement that way so if you like the video do subscribe my channel i will meet you tomorrow in a new video till then bye bye